Yes. You know, everything the SEC cares about, they lost. Yes. You know, uh, a freight train was driven through Gensler's argument that all these are securities. Well, th now we very clearly have a federal judge saying XRP is not a security. A lot in the industry were like, oh, you know, Ripple's different. We said at the time, like, this is an attack on the whole industry. Yep. And we need to, and I think we finally have come around to realize that. And I think we fought it on behalf of the whole industry. There's no question that this was a victory, like, t t a, a big victory. Follow me through to the conclusion to learn more. Check out this brand new video right now. Hi everyone and welcome to our channel, where we discuss the most recent developments regarding XRP and the cryptocurrency space as a whole. To ensure that you never miss another film, we cordially ask you to press the notification bell. All you need to do is leave a comment with the hashtag XRP and subscribe to the channel. Just like this video, the XRP party was slightly diminished, thus no major revelations were made as some had anticipated. Perhaps the most unexpected development was that Gary Gensler showed up without being asked. In the Congress, you are the front runner. As you navigate the courts, you're in the lead. I'm hoping that the white leaders would pronounce you fired because not even the government has held you accountable for that. We shall keep a list of those who are required to keep doing that in a secure place for as long. In the unlikely case that the original list is damaged, we will make a replica if time permits. Let's go right into it and investigate. I should mention that I made a highlight film with Gary Gensler in it. I was going to mention the person sitting behind Gary Gensler, who lit up the platform with their phone's cryptocurrency NFT, but I neglected to include the URL that I heard below. The NFT on the other side wasn't the only thing that materialized. Since I was watching the entire hearing, there was an actual stand with a crypto sign on it. These have been migrating over here for a while, and they are back XRP 53 cents in an attempt to pull back in the face of rising JD liquidity. We are currently oscillating between a two-year Twitter XRP trendline, which has hidden the bullish divergence that is currently emerging. Since the price of XRP is rising, the RSI is making a lower bottom. Jade claims that if the six-year trend lines hold, the breakout in XRP might lead to 24 as a possible top. However, should we trust this pump? Alternatively, worry is the wise one. We will be duped by money again. If he closes the day with more than 54.1 cents, as he usually does, it would result in a covered bearish divergence that seems to be caused by a lower price high. Many thanks and great news. Crypto.com launches XRP trading. Opposed to in the article they released on X, you can now view PayPal, USD, and the new XRP, Sol, and Doge trading pairs. I think that all of those pairs can be traded against as they are currently rising. The scope and accessibility of XRP, Allow Avenue, and PayPal users to trade. Okay, let's move on. All right, enough about last week at the Christie. After saying this, I want to turn to face the camera. This was the second Republican debate. Donald, let me tell you what I currently know. You really can't help but keep watching. You're observing. I am aware of that and you're not here tonight due to polls, not because of your allegations. Rather, you're not here because you're afraid to come on stage, defend your record on these things, and let me explain what will happen if you keep acting in that way. No, one up here, I'm going to call you Donald. Trump is going to call you instead. Donald Duck, this isn't a political post. Proclamation from me. I just find it charming and entertaining that this guy said that Donald Trump lacked self-control. I think having shiny hair is crucial, and since most people often ask when to buy or sell XRP, I want to quickly show you how significant it is to me. I want to be clear that I am not here to give financial advice. However, I came across this interesting JD graphic, displaying the weekly XRP total market capital chart, which is accessible at the second thing that's vital to observe that conditions must be satisfied for everything can be extremely close to it, is an advantageous purchasing circumstance. If we look at states to start by performing this yourself. That being said, you want to look out for the following signs when making an XRP1 buy of 40 or less. Right now, the RSI is showing 49.67. What you want next, roughly speaking, is the stochastic RSI at 5. As of right now, it seems to be around 3.76. Right now, the money flow index, or MFI, should be 20 or less. Finally, you would want to note that the fear and greed index is incredibly high at 34.46. At the moment, fear is shown as neutral. JD states that if the stochastic RSI is less than 35 and the RSI is less than 20, you should overcome to show up on the daily chart to enhance confirmation when every need has been satisfied. That is a more advantageous time. This is the most bizarre store to shop for anything. Story this week, I learned that the husband had been brutally stabbed by a 37-year-old woman after it was discovered that the wife's photos were obscene. 
However, the images of these ostensibly distinct ladies only showed her in her formative years. Slimmer, this is very important information. According to this trust report, authorized Ethereum ATF represents a rather significant turning point for Ethereum, noting that trading will be accessible to investors upon receipt of authorization. As soon as this coming Monday, it stands to reason that more money will be transacted on exchanges for Ethereum, perhaps even for the only cryptocurrency with definite legal guidelines. America, when I look at social media throughout the case discussion, the media is mostly correct, but they are consistently wrong in one aspect. In a week is a resolution anticipated. We've always been visible and we made it to the SECE whether it was two weeks or not. It's honestly not something we talked about before or after their lawsuit against us. This case could have been settled and would have in the past if the SEC had acknowledged that XRP, a digital asset, is not the best form of protection. They are also unwilling to give up on this goal because they are pursuing this rule by implementing a policy objective that's something that is legally referred to as a crypto asset security. This disagreement stems from the fact that nothing in the statute specifies what constitutes the security of a crypto asset. It's what we want, therefore that's what we want. Brad spoke for us and the industry as a whole when he made his remarks. All right, let's have a peek at a couple more. Headlines from the National Bank of Georgia select Ripple Labs as a potential CBDC. Partner, you can see this right here. Upending SBC clients are now able to pay their mortgage thanks to our fantastic chats with Brad, the CEO of Ripple, Garlinghouse's joint perspective for the blockchain and legislation, and a setting centered on business and creative strategy that we intend to promote as a hub for technology and innovation. The XRP party was slightly diminished, thus no major revelations were made as some had anticipated. Perhaps the most unexpected development was that Gary Gensler showed up without being asked. In the Congress, you are the front runner. As you navigate the courts, you're in the lead. I'm hoping that the white leaders would pronounce you fired because not even the government has held you accountable for that. We shall keep a list of those who are required to keep doing that in a secure place for as long. In the unlikely case that the original list is damaged, we will make a replica if time permits. Let's go right into it and investigate. And it, it introduces a major questions doctrine. And you told Mr. Barr that you received tons of feedback on your proposed ESG disclosure rules, uh, feedback that should make clear that the proposal for ESG disclosure is a major question. And it should make clear that you don't have the legal authority to do that. So I'd ask you to knock it off. Cease and desist and work with this body to pass a law if you want to regulate something. You know, frankly, your time as chairman has highlighted two problems, a Gary Gensler problem and a structural flaw in the SEC. And as I told you in April, I proposed a solution called the SEC Stabilization Act. Uh, you're, you're making the case for this bill easier every day you are acting as the chairman uh, by doing rulemaking after rulemaking without any regard to the impact of these rules, or maybe that's the feature for you, I don't know. Um, but it's having a massive impact on our markets. 